Welcome back, everyone, to Fallout New Vegas Perma Damage. Um, today is going to be probably the most dangerous episode I've had in a little bit, uh, because I'm going to RepCon uh, to basically check out all the ghouls, which I know may not be the smartest idea with the fact that there's also Nightkin in the basement. But there is some very specific things that I need from RepCon, specifically four stealth boys and a spacesuit. Um, which the spacesuit I actually have to complete the quest. So first, I'm gonna go in here and just sell the rest of my shit to Mr. Doing? Cliff Briscoe. Welcome like, back. Alcohol and shit. Anything? I just I was doing some thinking about it. I'm not gonna use sure any thing. of the look. items really. They're not really gonna be useful to me. I'm not gonna have a time where I'm going to be using this much strength, charisma, intelligence, basically. And I, I just don't think it's gonna be fully worth it, so beer and stuff like that can go. Um This kind of thing. I guess can sit, stay because it doesn't weigh much, but stuff like Ant Nectar probably should go because I just don't know if it's going to be doing the best for me. It's just going to be sitting there for a while. I'm going to be thinking about it and just not going to be doing much. This gives me rads. Now I'm going to take it. Just going to be selling it. Um, so I'll be doing this and then I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, we sold our stuff. Um, so we're just going to head up to Repcon. We're basically just going to be avoiding all big sources of damage that we can and just gonna make our way straight up this road. Uh, I know there's gonna be quite a few ghouls. Uh, okay then. There's gonna be quite a few ghouls up here, um, specifically inside the building, which is not gonna be the best for me, but I think I should be able to take them out with a 10 millimeter just fine, or a uh, 44 caliber revolver. So I'm not too nervous. The only thing I have to be nervous about is the nightkin that are gonna be in the building. So, this is one of the more interesting quests that's in, or one of the more unique quests, I should say, that's in Fault New Vegas, because they're all very interesting. Um, this one, you get to deal with rocket ships, which is very interesting. Okay, just a bunch of feral ghouls. There goes one, and since I'm still hidden, they're not going to be able to see me. And killing ghouls gains me karma with boot. I believe, so. There's one. There goes another. Uh, I see him over there. There he is. Oh, he's a glowing one. That's why he's so big. Okay. Thanks, Spoon. You, uh... Wow, you really just popped off his head there. Just like I did right there. Not too bad. <laughs> I made them lay together. How peaceful. How very peaceful of me. Can I shoot this guy from all the way back here? I don't believe so. Yeah, I don't know if I'm able to hit him, so I guess I'll get a little bit closer. Uh, now that we've taken out some of the ones, some of the ghouls at the front area. And unlike Fallout 4, the ghouls don't lay down in this game, so I don't have to worry about them really sneaking up on me. So if I see little bodies, I don't have to worry if they're dead or not. The only thing I have to worry about is looking at how cute this is. Look at them. Just a bunch of buddies. Just a just a couple of pals laying on top of each other. Nothing bad with that, you know, just two homies chilling. Making out a little bit. It's not gay. Where'd that ghoul go? There you are. Are there more? Where? Why am I in caution still? I don't see any ghouls. I just got some ammo for something, but I don't see any ghouls. Ah, uh, I see ya. Sneaking around the corner like I'm not gonna notice you. But thank God for your action shot, because I was able to check around the corner. I love that I can gain a little bit of karma each time I kill a ghoul. Boon makes my job real easy. And each of these ghouls actually has something useful, like Hydra or, or Jet, or some Fixer. As long as I'm not running into mines, I'm fine. Ash Pile with a Rebar Club. Yeah, I'm not going to be taking that. Because I don't need to be 
swinging melee weapons. But here is my first stealth boy. Out of four stealth boys that are in this place, that is the first one that you can get. Now, it's very important that I pick them up because stealth boys have a very unique effect. They increase my stealth by 100 and my stealth field by 75, making me invisible and rendering me basically unseen by most enemies with low uh, perception stats in game. And as you can see, that is a rocket, which I believe will actually move. Is that the one that moves or is it another one? Yeah, so we're going to be helping the Brights escape the Earth or at least their version of Escape the Earth, as much as they can. Uh, but I believe we might be shooting them out of that dome, actually, instead of that rocket. But we will be also taking out these ghouls from a distance, because they don't have high perception stats. And even if they did, they'd still die pretty easily. Can't run from me. Like him, he's dead. Yeah, and now they're just all grouping up. That's the best part. Look at him. They're, they're making it real easy for me. Yeah, he's dead. Boone just took care of him. Good job, Boone. That wasn't even my shot. And as far as I know... There's not any more on this base level. They're all up the stairs waiting. I don't quite know. Oops, did not mean to do that. Probably pull out something a little bit faster shooting. Because there will be ghouls up here. Which probably should have taken the other side. Oh, there's one behind it too. I took out both of them. And I'm just gonna come over here. Okay, and I thank you. Game. There's our second stealth boy. And with this gun, I know I can take him out in one or two shots, depending hey, on. Over here. Are you listening? I am. Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Yes, sir. Not gonna ask any questions. And another night. Okay. But he does have a stealth boy. So that is useful for us. Uh, and we're not gonna use that. So yes. Those are tethered by garbage cans that you can loot like the normal ones, which is interesting because most people don't know that. There's a bear trap there. Not gonna run into it. Oh, and I'm not gonna even fuck with it because uh, I will get some bad karma. Boon, Boon, you you kind of stuck outside, bud. So now now I know I have to be careful for the fucking bear traps in here. Okay. Please don't walk up on me like that. That was not appreciated. Where? I want to know where. To be exact. Are they coming through this door? Yes, they are. Not anymore, though. Alright. That's three down. Three less ghouls I have to worry about. Oh, apparently. Okay. I saw you up there. See, my guns my guns are learning them all to my position, which is the problem. But and and Boone is being oh so useful for me. There we go. He's no longer a ghoul I have to worry about. And we're just gonna We're gonna walk in here like nothing happened. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unlock this door real quick. Uh, right here. Oh, broke the lock. I broke the pick. I mean, right about there. Okay. No 
traps, no traps. Just filing cabinets. Filing cabinets in this fucking oh hunting revolver. That's actually useful. Because that's got a scope. And it's a lock safe. And it's only locked towards easy, which I didn't know about. And it had the other two stealth boys. So that's four. Now, if if the wiki was wrong, then there could be more than four on the entirety of the Repcon site. But I, I'm going to trust that the wiki was right. I missed every single one of those shots. I took a hit. I think I took three damage. I think I took three damage there. You know what? I'll, 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 I'll take that. That's not too bad. Not the worst that could have been. I should have been re-aiming and redoing vats, but it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna be clearing out the rest of this top area, and then we'll worry about the basement. Then we'll worry about the nightkin. Nightkin, our last concern right now. There is something in there. And it's just a rumor. There we go. We got the rumor on this floor. It's okay. We're gonna go through here. And we're going to find this password one way or another. Martin's retirements. Not quite what I needed, but cool. Okay, so Martin and Emily were friends, I guess. Who gives two fucks? I need the password. I don't care if Martin and Emily were best friends, if they shared their leftovers. I just need the password. Are you kidding me? We've been playing Martin's party for months. You forgot to order the cake? Oh my god, Stacy. Well, now I'm much more invested in Martin's going away party. Poor man didn't even have a cake. Poor, poor Martin. Stacy's a, such a bitch. And then we're gonna pull out the uh, 10 millimeter. <laughs> Thank you, Boone. What's this door to? Oh. That was the door I didn't want to open right away. That's what that was. Okay, so we're going to wait here. They're going to come to me. Yeah, Boone, I would gladly appreciate it if you'd pull out your gun right now. Thank you. Thank you for answering right away. Boone! The fuck, man? What are you doing? I thought it'd be useful to have you, but apparently I get to do all the work. Yeah, you get him, Boone. Thank you. God, Boone. You know, having you around is not even useful to me. You killed one. I killed the other two. One of them was, like, right in front of me. You're supposed to take care of that. You're supposed to take the front of the damage. Now I'm just thinking I should get a melee fucking companion. I'd probably do much better off. All right, Smootskin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Okay. And we're not gonna shoot at a single person here. Put the gun away. God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Yeah, you're not a ghoul either. Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Go waste Jason's. Yeah, I don't know why that guy acts that way, but you're not Jason. He's you know, here. Oh, hi, Jason. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Oh, you're fine. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Yes, sir. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. The demons. Somehow. Night, can you mean? And now they are lost forever. Denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer. 
Bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Nope, not going Once to. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. There are none. There, there are none The left. demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Yet yeah, one of the demons raved at yes, you? over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Uh, yeah. I guess Praise I can. the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Yes. And I will not... I'll not be fucking with your uh, nightkin just right away because uh, that's that's gonna get me killed. I I really I really don't want to go in there, but I, I'm gonna go in there for now. And uh, dark in here. If you want to use a scope, I can spot for you. Keep you on target. Yeah. Well, I. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna be doing here, so you might want to just just stand back. I see no. I see none. I hear him. All right, Boone. I'm gonna get out my cowboy repeater because that's what took down one of them last time in one hit. So. I could be wrong, but I'll use my hollow point even just to further up the damage. We'll try the boy light. Second I see one. Come on. Was he alerted? He made a noise. Yeah, we're uh, we're we're gonna back off and we're gonna hold off till next episode. We are we're gonna back off. Boom. Fuck you. We're gonna we're gonna hold off till next episode to deal with the uh, super mutants. For now, this has been Fault New Vegas Farmer Damage. Uh, catch you guys next week. Peace.